had temperance. Oh, my. We've come to temperance. Now you've had faith first. You have to have that to begin with. Then you had virtue to your faith, if it's the right kind of virtue. Then you had knowledge, if it's the right kind of knowledge. Now you're going to add temperance. <laughs> temperance doesn't mean stop drinking alcohol here either. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> temperance doesn't mean alcoholic uh, cure. Not in this case. This is Bible temperance. Holy Spirit temperance. That's just one of the lusts of the flesh. But we're talking about Holy Spirit temperance. That means how to control your tongue. <laughs> not be a tattler. How to control your temper, not fly off every time anybody speaks across to you. Oh my, boy, a lot of us going to fall off before we get started, aren't we? <laughs> And we wonder why God's not in His church doing miracles and things that He used to do. Yes, sir. Hmm? Add these things. Add temperance to it. Oh. Temperance, how to answer in kindness when wrath is spoke to you. Somebody say, you bunch of holy rollers down there, don't jump out and roll up your sleeves now. See? Not that, but talk with godly love. Temperance, kindness. <laughs> is that the way you want to be? When you're riled upon, rile not back. Let him be your example. When they said, If thou be the Son of God, turn these stones into bread, he could have done it. Right. I'm sure he was God. But he had temperance. When they called him Beelzebub, he said, I forgive you for it. Is that right? They pulled handfuls of beard out of his face and spit in his face. And said, come down off the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. When he had the gift, he knowed all things. For in him was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. They'd seen him perform miracles by telling people what was wrong with him and so forth like that. They put a rag around his head like that, around his eyes, and hit him on the head with a stick and said, prophesy. Tell us who hit you with me. He had tempers. Now, if you got it like that, add it to your faith. <laughs> if you still blow up and sass and fuss and stew and carry on, uh -uh. <laughs> you ain't got no words. You can't add that because it won't add. See, it won't vulcanize. You couldn't take a piece of rubber, you know, and vulcanize it to a piece of iron. <laughs> it just won't work, you know. It's got to be flexible, just like the rubber is. And when your faith and your tempers becomes the same kind of Holy Ghost tempers that he had, then it'll vulcanize with you. You're added to it. <laughs>